I would love to, please. Yeah. National Prawn Day. There's a dedicated prawn day. Mm, so meaty. Please hold on to the handrails, you noob. Good morning! Today we're going to do something a little bit different and it's going to the Sydney fish market. I've never been there myself. I don't know what to expect, which is good because then everything's a bonus, right? This is a cloud over day. We're now officially out of summer, which is great. We're in autumn. I don't know whether you can eat at the Sydney fish markets, but we're going to find out. So here we are, and what's fun is I love seeing these seagulls over here. They know where a good spot is. My dream has just come true. Oh my gosh. Do you remember that movie where Brad Pitt voices a little shrimp thing? That's what that's reminding me of. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> it started raining, of course. I didn't pack an umbrella because the Sydney weather said it was just going to be cloudy, not raining. It was going to rain tomorrow, but this adds to the adventure. Now, going to try. It's like you have to go into each brand of seafood. And Claudiel's has a good reputation. They're a seafood excellent award winner. Ooh. A dog knows what's up. You may wish to avert your eyes for the next five seconds if you're easily grossed out, but I'm getting the giggles. That's me after I've been looking at the computer screen all day. My eyes literally do that. There are so many creatures that I have never seen before and I'm so unaware of and I'm kind of embarrassed at my ignorance. Oh. What? Blood cockles. Turban shells. <laughs> this is like zoology. They're live. Oh my gosh, buddy. The fruit stall is a welcome respite in case you suddenly feel vegetarian. Absolutely sold. I did not expect it to be this massive and I'm I wasn't hungry when I came but now my appetite is through the roof just watching the food or is that psychology? Maybe I'm I'm a foodie. Oh, then you got the fried stuff. I've never seen a fish taco in my life before. This is such a food adventure. If you love any kind of seafood, or you can have vegetarian options as well, it's definitely a place to come. And it doesn't stink. That's one thing I noticed. I, it does have a fish smell, but it's fresh fish. It's not like fish that has been sitting out all day and it's rotting. It's a pleasant, fresh seafood, sea ocean spray smell. So come on down. I'm impressed. I did not expect. Oh my gosh, it's just so exciting. 
exciting. There's so many bits on it. The, the egg, it's kind of exploded in my mouth and it's like a garlic bread. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. <laughs> this is the sweetest little flower. It has avocado down the bottom of it. Don't wear white and be prepared to look a little messy, but everyone's looking messy here. So just look around and you're in safe hands. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's so crunchy. Oh, yum. This is my number one favorite at the moment. It's coming out on top. I'll have to try and shop around as well because I've got to try everything before I make that call. Mm. <laughs> this is too good. I would love to, please. A national prawn day. There's a dedicated prawn day. Thank you so much. Thank you. I bought some for the road as well. I tried to give some business to each of the shops because that's just fun. And the staff were so friendly and the birds are so friendly. They want a piece. Come get some, come get some. It is super easy to get to from the city. It's just a tram ride. It's a handful of stops and it's actually a delightful journey and you'll enjoy it. It's safe. It looks a little grungy but there's a little tiny sign to show you where to go so you know which side of the tracks to turn on. Please hold on to the handrails, you noob.